Diddy, Diddy, Diddy. Step to the front of the class. Now, okay, so for those of you who don't know, Diddy is being sued yet again. And what is he being sued for? Sexual assault, sexual harassment, drugging, all these different things. Now, as it relates to Cassie, I had mixed feelings about the whole dynamic because I feel like Cassie stuck around for 10 years. But all these people can't be lying on you, Diddy. All of them can't be lying. So that means that you are doing something over there. I'm just trying to figure out what exactly it is that you're doing over there that are that is making these people feel this way. So let's jump into this lawsuit, guys. So according to the Shade Room, Diddy lawyers speak out after Diddy is accused of sexual harassment and assault by a former employee. Looks like Diddy is facing yet another lawsuit after a former employee filed documents claiming that Diddy sexually assaulted him. Rodney Jones, a former producer and videographer for Diddy, accuses the mogul of sexually harassing, drugging, and threatening him for more than a year. The suit, which was filed in New York, names others, including Justin Combs as a defendant. The lawsuit alleges that Diddy forced Rodney to procure sex workers and pressured him to engage in unwelcome sex acts with them and others. Rodney, who also goes by Little Rod, um, claims that Diddy would often walk around, would walk around naked in front of him and alleges that Diddy forced him to watch a video involving Stevie J being intimate with another man. He reportedly seeking, he's reportedly seeking 30 million in damages. Since the news of the lawsuit, Diddy's lawyer, Sean Holly has come forward to deny Rodney's claims. Little Rodney is nothing more than a liar who filed a $30 billion lawsuit, shamelessly looking for an undeserved payday, she tells TMZ. He, his, his reckless name dropping about events that are pure fictitious and simple and simply did not happen is nothing more than a transparent attempt to garner um, headlines. She says that they have overwhelming um, indisputable proof that his claims are completely lies. All right. So we have this former employee this producer videographer who's saying, hey, look, this is what Diddy did. Now, I really need to read through these court documents to see word for word verbatim what happened. Because my thing is, Diddy, excuse the noise, Diddy uh, Diddy can't get me into a room and be like, hey, okay, Um, I want you to go and be with this man in front of me. Hello? Packing my bags First Uber, nice meeting you. Sayonara, hasta la vista. I'm out of here. You would have to hold me down for me to stay. So when these people say that they're coerced and they're this and they're that, and I'm like, aren't you grown ass people with grown ass decisions? Now, did he walking around in front of you naked? You should say something. You should say something and you should speak up and you should have done something immediately. But I'm not saying that this young man is wrong. I'm just saying it blurs the lines for Diddy and it makes it a case where Diddy can get away with stuff when you guys don't blatantly tell him no. You have to blatantly tell these people no to the party. No, I ain't going to your party. No, I ain't partying with you. No, so they can hear the word no, and then they can forcibly try to do something. When they try to forcibly do something, then you have a case. But when it's all these coercions and this and that, then they can get away with it. 